YouTube, Siegfried True Lane here with, this is not going to be a typical video, um, this is more just kind of like a, uh, I don't know, current up to date on the gotcha game system. Um, I've been having this, kind of have something that's been bothering me for a while and I just want to make a video on it before I do my stream today, so we're going to do a quick video on this and just talk about it. Uh, now, this game here, if you've been following me, I started when it first came out, um, it's called Seven Deadly Sins, honestly it was, was my favorite gotcha game up until recently. And that being ever since the half year anniversary. We went from, as you can see here, you know, well originally, you know, a 1% drop rate, I believe it was, on units. Is it 1%? I can't tell because we don't have the, you know, a regular banner. <sighs> to all of a sudden, this atrocious... 0.35 percent drop um guys i was a you know first of all i don't know why nightmare night goal is on this banner it's ridiculous you know i'm pretty upset at what net marble has done as of late um i feel whenever they release an event it has nothing to do with their customers or the player base they release and say oh look we're gonna do this for the player base but in the end <clears throat> it's not now they gave a lot of tickets out, don't get me wrong, but these rates are horrible. In 303, well in, what is this, <laughs> Let's see, 33, I think it's what, about 33, no, we more than 33 fingers. Let's see, you get about 30 per summon, right? So it'd be like 10 multis, right? Yeah, so at about 33 summons, guys, 33 singles, some of those being multi, some of those not being multi, some of those being just singles, I have gotten two SSRs. I finally got Zaratras, but that was the guaranteed SSR, and I pulled another green Escanor. Three. <sighs> Halfway through this pity system, and I've, only, and I've not pulled one of the new units, and I've pulled only one SSR excluding the guaranteed SSR reward. These rates have, they've got to change. This game is going downhill. And I'm sad to see it because this is the exact same thing that Legends did. Now the 3% has never changed, but this rate up has been changing lately. They've been, lately they've been releasing, I mean, guys, it's one thing to release hype banners but they have released, let's see, it was the half year anniversary, then it was the Zeldris, and then it was, no, half year anniversary, Zaratras, Zeldris, Shin, and Roxy, Roxy, and then the King of Fighters banner. What the, f what the fuck is this? Why are they releasing five different banners which actually have quality to them? Okay, maybe not the Zaratras, that could have been skippable, but... Zeldris, like, like, this is, this is asinine, you know, and, and I'm not gonna lie guys, a banner every week is deadly to the game, and I don't see this game lasting very long, much longer, but as of this point, I am so furious with this game that I'm gonna do what I do with Legends, and no longer am I going to spend any money on this game. I'm not even going to be getting the discount, the monthly subscriptions anymore. I'm going to be spending no money on this game. Because the fact that I had to go pretty much all the way through the Lost Vein Meliodas banner to start getting, to, to actually get, you know, something. I, I didn't get one Lost Vein, I think, until the 300 mark. And then I didn't see another one until the 800 mark, in which I got three. But this is ridiculous. There's no excuse for this. And they didn't even give us a free-to-play unit this time. Why did they put four units on the banner and not give us, like, Athena for free? They should have given us Athena for free. I didn't even like Athena, but they should have given us her for free. I am pretty irritated because not only have they been releasing really hype banners... I've not been able to really pull anything on him. I pulled Blue Zeldris, and that is the only unit 
but I really pulled on the Shin banner. I got I didn't get I only got SSRs on step five, in which luckily I got two Shins on that, and then I got the guaranteed on the final step. I mean, again, this these rates are ridiculous. And <coughs> I'm I'm really tired. Like on the Zaratras banner, I pulled four Gil Thunders, not one Zaratras. I I just can't spend money on this game. And I think that Net Marble is showing us that they are deviating away from free to play friendly. And light spender friendly into whale only, <coughs> and you know that can that works in Japan, but that doesn't work Western wise. Um, and unless they, I mean, you know, what pe people complain about Doken because you know we have to wait a while for units, but I'll say one thing about Doken is they only release a banner probably monthly, and while you still might not get anything on a banner that month, you at least have time to save. And more time to save between banners. And if you skip a banner, you have even more time. So, as of now, guys, I am no longer a pay to play Seven Deadly Sins player. I am free to play. And just like with Dragon Ball Legends, which I am proud to say that, except for I think two $8 packs, I have stayed free to play. I will be free to play until I feel that they made significant changes to deserve my money again. I'm very. Upset with Netmarble's direction in this game. I'm really upset with the fact that they're releasing these banners with like four featured units and dropping the rates to, let's be honest, Legends LF unit rates. And I think that it's a disgusting practice to do what they are doing. Um, but that will be about it. So this is the second game I'm not gonna. This is the second gacha game I will not be spending money on. Um, I will still be getting the subscription in Genshin Impact because at least I know that unless they change that pity system, at least I know that I'm going to be end up getting five stars a little more quickly. With that said, guys, this is a short video, pretty much just another announcement that I am done spending money in this game. Um, I will be still, you know, making content for because I do like the game, but I'm not going to throw any more money to them until they fix the system so it's not so BS because let's be honest, man. They don't need to. Put, they need to raise the rates. All gacha games need to raise the rates on those characters. There is no reason for these character rates to be so bad in every single gacha game. With that said, this is Secret Lane signing out. Catch my live stream, which will be starting in just a few minutes. I usually live stream every day. I'll see you guys there on Twitch. Have a great day.